trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since mm. broadcast the upgrade to every Securatron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Why show your hand like that? Now your enemies know what you're up to. I'm surprised you can still underestimate me after everything you've seen. I haven't shown my hand. I've shown one card. I've given my enemies a single provocative datum upon which to fixate. They have no idea what other cards I'm holding. It's a strong hand, believe me. I dealt it to myself. So you think your secure chance can defeat Caesar's Legion and the NCR? Why would I want to go to war against the NCR? They're my best customers. If their leaders weren't scheming to steal Vegas out from under me, I'd have no troubles with the NCR at all. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. Uh-huh. Let me ask him some questions first. What did you want to discuss? So... Uh, what are your plans for New Vegas? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just mm -hmm. against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. So how do you intend to enforce your claim on the city? To enforce, one must have force. A position of strength. Right. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securatrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. Mm. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Mustard. So wasn't the NCR's army big enough to defeat your Securitrons and the three families? Indeed it was, and still is, but not without right. taking significant casualties. Would Kimball mm. and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a Legion offensive. And so they negotiated, mm. not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. So, and uh, what were the terms of your treaty with the NCR? NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. Hmm. So, you would go to war against the NCR? The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. There's just one mm. reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? Um, okay, so, what's the deal with the snow globe collection? What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. What else did you want to discuss? Um... How do you think the NCR will defend Hoover Dam? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants right. to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, 
pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, mm. decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. And what's your battle plan for the dam? A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. Alright, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to discuss? So, um... Well, you were there before the war, so... What was Vegas like before the war? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. You say that you saved Las Vegas. How? By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. Okay, so what preparations did you make to save Las Vegas? On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another 9 warheads. The uh -huh. rest got through though none hit the city itself. A hmm. sub-optimal performance, admittedly. If only the Platinum Chip had arrived a day sooner. And why didn't the Platinum Chip arrive on time? The Platinum Chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. How did you nearly die defending Vegas? Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to discuss? Um... Let's talk about that mission after all. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Oh. What do you want me to do there? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. Oh yeah. And what's inside the hatch? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. And what's my stake in this? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future. For you, and for what remains of the human race. No thanks, Mr. House. If you find Caesar's Legion so frightening at this remove, imagine them rampaging across the Strip. We have a chance to see them destroyed, to see New Vegas become the harbinger of a new age. <sighs> Alright, fine, but only because Caesar has already invited me to the fort. I'm not surprised. The Legion has spies on the Strip. Yeah, so you didn't know about them. Alright, I'll, I'll go to the fort as you ask. Here, take the Platinum Chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, 
It will come back to you. Alright, if you say so. Excuse me, but are you the courier uh, who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Um, yes. Why do you want to know? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there. The Lucky 38, I mean. And we were uh -huh. wondering if you could help us. If it's not too much trouble, of course. How did you get enough money to enter this trip? This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Mm hmm. So what is your, um, request involved? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no uh -huh. one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Okay, and this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Alright, but Dr. Green diagnoses a terminally low discussion of camps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Alright, I'll do it. Great! I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us Excuse to accept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Alright. Alright, there we go. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Yeah, I bugged the tower for you. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks what? like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. See ya. Hey, come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. Sorry, uh, I just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. So, how long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me. First thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. So you're looking for your big break? Break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. All right, well, Tommy Torino at the Tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a word for him. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for 100 a night. No, 50. No, 20. 10. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Exactly. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very All important right. matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take mm -hmm. a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention. Go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, mm. you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? All right, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. All right. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. 
I started mm -hmm. my career over 20 years ago, back in the NCR as the local mayor, and worked my way up from there. I managed mm. President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. Interesting. Go on. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, mm. I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? Yeah, um... Tell me about the boomers. Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Okay. Um, tell me about the NCR. I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojavean force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving right. at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction mm. to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually mm. makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Mm. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established yeah. a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors mm. had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Go on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. Hmm. All right. See you around. Goodbye. I'll wait. Are you ready to head up river? Um. What will happen at the fort? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. That it would be a woman is even more surprising. Excuse me? Why are you surprised to see a woman receive this honor? Women are physically and intellectually inferior to men. Their role is to uh bear children and ensure the survival of our species. Not to say that all women are equally incapable. I trust Kaisar will find a worthy use for you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. For now. Hmm. And what is concern a banned item? Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. Well, I have to bring them along. It's a, uh, congenital heart defect. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one Yeah, exception. well, what can you do, right? Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Okay. I agree to disarm. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's what? going on? Am what I do you mean? Virgil to your Dante? 
I'd like to what? assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity, but I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Listen, well, just listen to him, figure out what he's up to, and then we get out. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing you could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. The garrison I established at Nelson has been wiped out. Years of meticulous scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? Well, I had to see the mighty Kaiser with my own eyes. And also you guaranteed my safety. But I was really here for the platinum chip. We'll talk about the platinum chip when the time comes. In the meantime, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it. Then something happens to Mr. House's robot, some kind of military upgrade. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? What are you looking to start? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before uh -huh. that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. Listen, just give me back the platinum chip and I'll be on my way. Oh, I'll give you the platinum chip and then you'll use it exactly like I tell you to. What are you saying I have to do? Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Uh -huh. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip you were carrying. Isn't that interesting? Even mm. more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open, or drilled open, or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. Right. At once, I, once I'm inside? I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Goodbye. Alright. Hmm, what's this? Legion slave ledger, huh? This might come in handy. What a load of Brahmin shit! Can you believe uh, that guy? Listen, I don't think either of us can fully understand what he and the tribes have gone through. A fair point. But from the perspective of someone west of the Colorado, the man is clearly out of his mind. Maybe he didn't intend for things to wind up this way. But that doesn't mean he needs to perpetuate this bizarre anachronistic myth. And it doesn't mean that we should sit by and nod our heads at every absurd faux Roman casus belli he can dream up. He's a tyrant. The bad kind. And there's no way we're letting him take Hoover Dam. Alright, fair enough. A free woman. It's been a while since I've seen a woman who wasn't a slave. I forget myself. Are you injured? Uh, you're a doctor? I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries, healing powders and all that. I'm always running low right. on Xander root. Plenty of Brock flowers, though. You are using one Brock flower per Xander root, right? Oh, I've been using two roots per flower. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. Alright, do you have anything for sale? For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could oh. give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. I see. Um, goodbye. Okay. I can't talk to you. 
It's not allowed. I'm a friend. It's okay for you to talk to friends, right? I guess that's okay. Um, if you're a friend, can you help me? What do you need help with? Anthony took Sergeant Teddy away and gave him to the stinky dogs. I want him back. Why did Anthony take him away? Anthony said he was punishing me for trying to hide it from the Legion. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. The mechanical dog you have with you, where did you get it? Rex, I picked him up in New Vegas. Oh? Such things are common in Denver, but I didn't know that other cities had them as well. Yep. I ask because Kaisar once had a similar pet, but it was lost during a battle. I'm here for Melody's bear. This stupid girl should know by now that even the rags on her back are a privilege. Anyway, my mongrels like their new toy. Tell you what, you square off with four of my best dogs. No armor and no weapons except a machete. You survive, and I let you have the bear. Really? Potentially losing four dogs is a very high price to pay for a toy. What about two? Alright, two it is. They'll still be more than enough to take you down, I think. So you won't mind if I kill them? I think they'll probably end up killing you. I trained them myself. But if you do win somehow, the mongrels will at least get honorable deaths. Uh-huh. Alright, why not? I don't normally kill dogs, but let's do this. Good luck. You'll need it. Heave ho, doggies! Oh, you didn't see anything. Shh, didn't see anything there. Quiet. Don't worry about it. Damn it! I thought they had you. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. Take the bear. I can't believe I let some of my best dogs get killed over this stupid thing. Your stuff is in the crate next to the arena entrance. Leave it there too long, and we'll dump it in the lake. See ya. Later. Hi. Hi there. I got Sergeant Teddy for you. He's a little chewed up. That's okay. I'll fix him. Can I have him now? There you go. Thank you. Goodbye. So long. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. All right. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Hmm. The console hums quietly, powered by some unknown source. There's a round slot in the console, about the size of a large poker chip. I wonder if. Oh. There we are. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? What is this place? It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a barracks. You'll understand soon enough. Alright, why did you send me here? As you know, the Platinum chip upgrades my Securitron's operating software. Well, there's an army of them here. The Securitron there... policing the strip are a fraction of the total number manufactured. The rest I stored here. Mm -hmm. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Alright. And, uh... What will you do with your Securitrons? My army will do what an army does best. Defend territory from invaders and maintain order. Uh huh. All right. We'll see what happens. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. Yeah, I hear that. Do not order. Please take cover until the next. <laughs> Your work 
here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very right. bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Uh-huh.